was devastated in 2014 by a needle stick injection that was supposed to be a routine shot to treat pneumonia. Instead of the needle going into the muscle, it landed about an inch from my spine and damaged a nerve bundle, affecting my right lower extremity and my overall physical ability. And I ended up losing my nursing career, my purpose, and ultimately lost relationship with friends and family members, in part from the long drawn out medical malpractice trial that I did not win and in part because emotionally I was experiencing a stuck place of PTSD. As I reflect now and it's six years later or more, I don't think I had to be as stuck as long as I was. And I think what I hoped for was maybe some understanding, compassion, possibly compensation for the multiple losses that I encountered but what I understand now is that physically, I have to continue to strive to get stronger in that, not just physically, but emotionally and spiritually as well. I have to move forward and strive to reclaim my humanity because lost doesn't mean you're lost unless you get lost. There's still humanity to be preserved. And so the hard battle that I fought for myself, my family, my truth, was always much bigger than just my own personal physical recovery and emotional recovery. In the book by Malcolm Gladwell, Talking to Strangers, he describes how people don't really do a very good job of talking to one another and understanding one another, resulting in conflict, misunderstanding, and it has a profound impact on the lives of people as well as our world and our culture. People that I thought would stand up for me or fight with me, they didn't and I think that compounded things for me in terms of social justice. As I continue to move forward and make friends and pursue acts of kindness and service towards others and have meaning, I realized that I'm very grateful for my John Maxwell mentors who were there early on to motivate and inspire me to get up and get growing and that are still there for me now in support of me who say as recently as what I heard on a call, I'm not going to quit on you, so keep going and I appreciate it. What I know is this, is whether or not people believe me or stand with me or show up for me. I don't make those choices, but I do have to live with them. And what I, the one choice I need to make and that I encourage anyone to make is continue to show up for yourself and your story. And then you can help others and give them hope. Just don't give up.